So here is a breast, and uh, as we know, cancers are commonly diagnosed in breasts for females. Here we have a healthy breast. Taking a section of this normal healthy breast, we can find endothelial cells here, as well as blood supplying it. We can also find lymph vessels here. Now let us learn about the pathophysiology and progression of cancer and how it can spread. These epithelial cells, they can turn into cancer cells through environmental factors, genetic mutations, or even an infection. When a healthy epithelial cells become a cancerous cell, it causes um, the tissue to become abnormal. This is referred to as dysplasia, where we have abnormal tissue development, essentially. The cancer cell, um, where it begins, is known as the primary site. And so if a cancer cell were to move or spread, the, the, the second area would, would be referred to as the secondary site. So for now, seeing that this cancer cell arose in the uh, breast, it's the breast is the primary site of uh, this cancer cell. This cancer cell, um, because it is not under normal control, not under normal body control, it will begin to proliferate and differentiate. And it will just keep dividing and dividing, forming a neoplasia, forming a tumor. So here, this red bulge, we have all these cancer cells forming a growth, forming a tumor, neoplasia. We can also see changes in blood vessel. Uh, through angiogenesis, the uh, new blood vessels are formed due to the secretion of chemicals by the cancer cells. As we know, this, cancer, this, this lump of cancer cells are known, is known now as a tumor, neoplasia. But we can also refer it to as a carcinoma. Why is this? Let's learn a bit more, uh, let's learn a bit more about the terminology of cancer. Words ending in oma means uh, growth. So for example, melanoma means growth or tumor of uh, melanocytes. Growth, new growth of melanocytes. Lymphoma means tumor of the lymph node. Carcinoma means tumor of epithelial cells. And adenocarcinoma, for example, is tumor of gl glandulous epithelial. And so seeing that um, the cells we just looked at are epithelial cells we can refer to as carcinoma, so breast carcinoma. Now, the cancerous cells uh, in the breast can still uh, proliferate and differentiate and become more aggressive. And as it does this, it will also begin getting more blood supply to feed it to provide nutrients to it. And so when this occurs, this neoplasia is referred to as invasive because this neoplasia can now, uh, the cells can break off and essentially enter the bloodstream and invade other tissues and other organs. Hence the name invasive neoplasia. So here I'm just drawing the blood supply in blue because it's a vein. It's just going to return to the heart. These cancer cell here will enter the blood supply and move towards the heart. So the emboli embolization and detachment of cancer cells occurs. These cancer cells will essentially enter the circulation. Often, or in most cases, they're often uh, destroyed by the immune cells because the immune cells realize that this is not normal. However, if it, if it keeps continuing and the cancer cell survives, it will be transported. It will go into the heart via the vena cava and essentially be pumped somewhere. So this cancer cell is entering the heart and it will be pumped out. So the heart is for transportation. It's for transportation of cancer cells. 
Now, the site where the cancer cells are usually transported to first are the lungs. Because as you know, the pulmonary arteries leaving the heart uh, will enter the lungs, like so. And so the lungs are often the second site of infection, the secondary site. So these cancer cells will adhere to the endothelial walls, uh, vessel walls of the lungs, and essentially invade the lungs. So here we're looking at the normal lungs first. We have the endothelial cells of the alveoli as well as the blood vessel. The cancer cells here will adhere to the uh, vessel wall and essentially invade the lung. So recapping, the cancer cells will adhere to vessel wall and through extravasation will essentially colonize the lungs. From here, the cancer cells will proliferate and also cause angiogenesis and be, through this it will form a tumor, it will form a neoplasia. So now uh, this is referred to as a cancerous lung. So the, what happened is that the invasive neoplasia established in the new uh, environment and this new environment is the secondary site. Remember the primary site was the breast and because the cancer has spread to the lungs, the lungs is known as a secondary site. So looking at it from an external view, uh, the lung here will develop tumors in the lungs and this is what it would look like if we zoomed in. And this is caused by the proliferation of the cells as well as angiogenesis. When the cancer has spread from the breast to the lungs, this process is known as metastasis. And so because the cancer has spread to the lungs, we call this lung metastasis. And so we can say that the cancer cells have met metastasized, have spread. Metastasis marks tumor as malignant because benign tumors, remember, are not metastatic. They do not spread. They are not invasive. Further, uh, these invasive neoplasia, these invasive tumor cells, cancer cells, can also uh, travel through the lymph vessel. And as the same thing, it can spread to other tissue, tissues and organs. For example, when, when it enters the lymph vessel, it can, the lymph vessel can travel to the heart, and then the cancer cells can then be pumped from the heart again to other tissues. The cancer cells, for example, if it, if it's, if it metastasizes again from the lungs, it can be transported to other areas in the body. So the cancer cell can re-enter the heart here, and then it can be pumped out through the aorta. It can travel through the ascending or descending aorta. The cancer cell can um, invade the brain, ca causing serious consequences, essentially death, or it can cause, uh, it can infiltrate the bone, causing complications such as anemia and um, basically clotting the blood flow. This was, that was just an overview and a summary of how cancer spreads and essentially the pathophysiology of cancer. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you.